Hey guys, today we are going to install a solar panel on my roof box. I've been using before a solar blanket to charge my battery. That's a 100 amp battery, 100 amp an hour. So I'm going to install this flexible solar panel now on my roof box. I'm going to use these rubber washers that I bought from Bunnings and this M8 into 35 mil bolts, around six of these. And I'm going to use these spacers as well there's 10 mm spacers to give it a little bit of space below the roof panel so that it doesn't heat up my box and the airflow will be good enough to keep it I cool i used to use this solar blanket in my car and used to keep it in my rear of my car windscreen inside the car but it doesn't create uh, generate enough power it was creating a one amp or so during the day the best thing about this solar panel is you got six holes and that I can use to create a little bit of space underneath and hopefully the heat doesn't trap underneath so let's start make sure to drill it very nice and easily do not push too hard you might break the roof box so go very nice and easy don't push it inside too much so now I have pre drilled the holes and I'm going to use these spaces it's Few of them are 5 mm and few of them are 10 mils. So on all the corners I have pre-drilled the holes. But the one in the center I'm just going to paste it with a 3 mm tape. To give a good space underneath the panel. I have used a rubber washer just below the bolt and one just below the spacer. The top one will prevent any rain going through and the bottom one will prevent any vibration between the roof box and a solar panel is done so this is the roof box top so if you can see i have used this anderson plug at the back and this round cable runs just down here run this cable just inside and when you can see so at the moment it's generating approximately around 2 amps but it's actually very windy and it is fairly cloudy there so there's no sun at all so the maximum I could pull out was around 4.5 amps when it was a full sun. So that's my basic setup. And in the next video, I will show you how we use a 43 liters water tank in here in this space for our shower and drinking water while camping around seven nights. So there will be a separate video and I'll put the link above. So that's my setup at the moment. So you, could, you can run this cable straight from here. It doesn't break your or any damage your wire because there's a seal in here. I have used this before. So I think I'm gonna remove this seal and I'm gonna just take this cable inside straight from here and just drop it there to my... So this is my 500 watt inverter with a 100 amp battery. 100 amp an hour so I use this battery approximately 72 hours without being charged and I use my 20 liters camping fridge and it draws approximately 4.5 amp an hour so so yeah so that's all and see you in the next video